A new exhibition entitled The Chinese Photo Book opened last week in Beijing, curated by British photographer Martin Parr and Dutch artist duo Wesink Lundgren. It showcases China's rich history of photography publishing over the past 150 years, including the country's twists and turns over that time. Mu Zhou takes us to the exhibition at Ulin Center for Contemporary Art. It's never been easy to publish a photo book. It takes time, energy, and money to design, color, print, and produce the album, all under demanding constraints that make each finished product a valuable artifact. And the photographs inside each carry a message reflecting the times and adding new dimensions to people's understanding of society and its culture. To fully explore the untold history, the Chinese photo book begins with early 20th century all the way to contemporary Chinese photography. These chapters say as much about China's dramatic modern history as it does about photography itself. The curators collected photo books in China for years. In the exhibition, enlarged photocopies, frames, videos and physical copies are all used to chronicle the unique role of these albums through history. Well, in general, I mean, you can look at China in different directions and different points of view. Photography would be one of those, so uh, there's quite a lot of photography histories made upon China. There's not one on photo book publishing so far, so that is um, a different perspective. For a photo book, you often uh, need different circumstances. You need to have a certain budget. It's more expensive than for photography itself, and it often comes with a clear purpose. So the thing with the difference with photography and a photo book is that a photo book is actually carrying the complete message. It's a body of more photographs. It also comes in a certain design. So there are more elements to it to, to express that message. From portraits of Chairman Mao Zedong and pictures of Shanghai's sharp-looking traffic police to pocket-sized tutorials on football techniques and scientific studies of hairy men in China, the exhibition sheds new light on China and its past eras through the eyes of photographers and providing a patchwork history of the country. There are many different layers as well. I mean, obviously in the 1980s you see some very funny design that you can laugh about now. Um, but in general I would say it's more like discoveries. I, I have been buying books for like eight years now. And in those eight years I found quite a lot of astonishing, very good looking or absurd books that I'm just very happy to share. The Chinese photo book exhibition comes with an official photo book of the same name, which will be released in China in May. Mu Fangzhou, CCTV, Beijing.